your conscience must be retrained to accept God's word as truth and not your feelings because feelings tell you lies, 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 lies about yourself. They lie to you. Oh, there's no hope. You're so bad that the world would be better off if you were to end it. A lie. When this world is going to be better off without you, God will call for you and he'll take you home. And he knows your name and he knows your address. He knows exactly where you live and he knows what plug to pull. Let him make that decision, all right? So what you need to do is to confront these lies and you have to retrain your conscience. I've been doing some work on Martin Luther, writing some things, and I've been fascinated by his uh, belief in the devil and how he dialogues with the devil, so to speak. He said one time the devil came to him and showed him all of his sins. Showed him all of his sins. And Luther says, if you're showing me all of my sins, why is the list so short? Don't you know that you missed this, 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 this? And there are other things that God knows about that is your knowledge really that limited, devil? That that's the best you can come up with? I can add to the list. And then he writes across the list, the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanses us from all sin. And he says, devil, how does that make you feel now? What do you have to say in light of that? He had to retrain his conscience to accept the fact that his guilt was now a lie. His depression, and he suffered from depression, the German word is anfechtungen, was a lie. And that he was not going to believe that. He was going to believe God's holy word. 